you know what day is. My Mondays. <laughs> right. First things first, just want to do a big shout out to Kelly for her 40th birthday. Her uh, husband Tyler sent me a message saying that she watches My Home Mondays every week and watches all the videos. So thanks for that, Kelly. Uh, I hope you have a, a, a good birthday. I know we've just had announcements and that, so that's probably not the best thing you want to hear for your birthday because it's this month. Um, but I'm sure Tyler will make up for it next month when, when we're... Uh, when we're out of uh, lockdown and that, he'll take you out shopping and food and everything. I'm sure he'll do all that, but I've popped some stickers in the post, so uh, they should be with you shortly. All right. Cheers, guys. Next thing I want to say is you probably noticed I've been a little bit AWOL. There's been no vlog. I'm um, just work, work, work at the moment. And I can only see it getting busier, to be fair. What with Christmas and current current things going on. Shall we? I don't really want to talk about it too much because it's a bit... <laughs> It's not everyone's favourite subject, really, and uh, I can understand why. But just got to take it as it comes, haven't we? Ah, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> We've got. That's what she said already. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh, haven't you? Otherwise, you'd just cry. Let's crack on with a question, shall we, guys? First question: How long did it take you to relax enough to sleep well at night when you started out in your motorhome? Um, I don't know really, probably a, a couple of weeks. Yeah, after you settle down with the noises and you know what's what, and you're not like, what is that, what is that, oh, World War is kicking off out there. Um, Once you kind of, you know, you get used to the noises and the clunks and the, sometimes it just, it just makes a noise. Motorhomes homes just make noises sometimes and vans make noises. Um... And then the wind will blow something down the street and you think, oh, what's going on down there? Someone's dragging something along the street. And it's not, it's nothing. Um, but yeah, probably a week or two. But I've got to say, when I'm asleep, I'm asleep. So doesn't really, not much really bothers me. I do wake up to certain noises now. I can wake up to people quite easily. Like if I can hear voices very close or something. I don't know, my brain just, tell, just tells me to wake up. But if there's like a storm raging outside... Um, I remember we was in Scotland and a few nights, um, everyone wakes up and they're all looking like zombies and I'm like, well, what's up? What's up? And they're like, did, didn't you hear the rain last night? I was like, it rained. I didn't hear a thing. And it's like an inch from my face. Um, yeah, I can sleep for all that. No problems. So you get used to it. No worries. Next question. Do you need a TV license on the road? And if you personally don't because you just watch Netflix, etc. What is the general rule for those who do access things such as iPlayer? Um, well, you need an address for a TV license. And if you're using like a friend's address or something, then they probably have a TV license. Because you can't have a TV license for somewhere that isn't like a fixed address. So I, I haven't got one. And I, I don't really watch any of that. I watch, watch Netflix and all that, to be fair, like like you said in the comment. But I haven't got an address. And my family's address that I do use for, for post, they've got TV licenses. So I, I don't know where he's stand with that. I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to come and find you? If you're always bopping around, don't do anything because I said it. Do it because you want to do it in your own back. But... Who's going to come and find me right now? Uh, I'm constantly bopping around. It's not as if I've got a whacking great TV area on the roof. Um, I mean, I can access all the, all the channels. I can access all that. But, no, I haven't got one and I can't see anyone coming to find someone. They'd rather go to a house that can't run away, I suppose. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. But my actual address where my post goes to has... A TV license, so I assume I'd be covered. I might be wrong. Don't really care, to be fair. If they want to come and ask me for some money, they can ask. They're not going to get any. <laughs> That's that, really. Uh, next question. Do you ever get sick of spelling out your name every time? No. Well, it, I'm used to it. I've had it all my life. Um... I like to think of my name as different because I'm not a follower. <laughs> I'm different. I'm the black sheep. 
Uh, it even started with a different name, a different spelt name from the normal. Um, yeah, no, it's, it is what it is. Uh, people that have weird names or weird spellings always always do it and they get used to it, I suppose. But uh, it's quite funny when people go, when you actually spell it out and then people go, oh, Daran. And then they're trying to start moving the jaw, like proper pronouncing things. No, mate, it's just, it's just Darren. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I don't. It doesn't bother me. Uh, next one. You don't swear in your videos. Is this a conscious decision or do you not swear much in day to day life? Now, <laughs> I'd swear quite a bit. I'm from the South. We swear quite a lot down here. Um, and there's going to be someone in the comment now going, oh, I'm from the South and I don't swear at all. And yeah, good for you. No, I do swear quite a bit. It's just, it's a language, isn't it? It's a word. I mean, it's an expression. It's, yeah, I do swear quite a bit. But in my videos, I try not to. Or I try and cut or bleep if I've said something a bit offensive. Because uh, I know kids, I know some people watch with their kids and I know some kids watch. Um, I don't make these videos for kids at all, but um, I'm considerate. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> no, but I mean, I do swear, you know. So if there if there's the odd one in here and there, then so be it. But I do try and make sure it's not just constant effing and jeffing. But once once I'm with uh, John and Tash and that, and we're all around, or, or I'm with uh, the lads, the, the five amigos, once we all get together, oh, some, there's some words coming out of the campfire then. It's funny as anything. Oh, you just got to have fun, didn't you? Next one. Do you have a do you have blackout curtains in the bunk bed above the cab? I just wondered for when you're in stealth mode. Yeah, I got uh these. Yeah, there's one here. These blackout blinds. I bought them from Amazon. These are the black ones for the front of the cab, and then I've got. You can probably just see here. I've got cream ones, but they're same blackout. Um, for all the other windows, and then I've got some just above the, uh, just in the, like to cover the pod, the bed area, so it just seals it in. So it can be really dark and blacked out in my sleeping area, even with all the windows and blinds open if I wanted to, for whatever reason. Um, yeah, you can't really see much light once I'm. I think on one of my parking videos, I did a walk around once I parked up, and you couldn't read all the lights were on inside, but you couldn't see them when the window was outside and it was pitch black. Next question: If you could telepathically say something that all seven point eight billion people on Earth could hear at once, what would it be? <sighs> Jesus, it's quite deep, out, isn't it? Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Uh, I'd probably say like, because people these days, and I don't know about in every country, but I think there's quite a lot of hot-headed people out there at the moment these days, should we say. People are a bit, always waiting to take offence or anything. You know? I think I'd just say like, um, I'd probably swear. I don't know if I'd swear. But I'd probably just say like, chill the fuck out. We all want to be happy. Every single 7.8 billion of us want to be happy. We all probably want a nice life. So just chill out, treat each other nice, and get on with it. Get on with it. This ain't a test run. This is real life. You know, this ain't a trial for the next one. This is it. You're living it. Get crack on. Yeah, just have a laugh. Why take things so serious? I think I'd do that. I think I'd say that. Something like that. Maybe a bit neater. But, yeah, just have a laugh. Chill out. You ain't going to make it out alive. <laughs> That's the truth. And, uh, yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to talk to that many people, though? I wouldn't like I'm talking back, though. Oh, that'd be an headache, wouldn't it? If you had that many responses. I crumble all the amount of comments I get. <laughs> Let alone 7.8 billion people coming at you. Jesus. Last question. Any plans to update your tech and gadgets video? I'm guessing you've changed a few bits since the, since the last one was made. Yes, I've got quite a few videos that I want to update and uh, get back out to you because, like this person said in the question, 
things have changed. I've got new gadgets, I've got new toys, new tech, everything. Uh, and we'll be making them shortly and then uh, getting them out to you as quick as possible. But if you've got any video ideas that you want me to, to make or think about making, um, drop them in the comments below. If you've got any questions for My Home Mondays, for next week's My Home Mondays, which I'm not going to tell you any more, but you have to watch next week's My Home Mondays. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. You have to watch next week's My Home Mondays. Uh, if you have got a question, drop it in the comments below or send me an email. Darren, D A R R A. He's a rat. I'm on an industrial estate. That is a big rat. The tail on it. It's like Indiana Jones' whip. <laughs> Jesus. Right. <laughs> if you send me an email, Darren, D A R R A N, at the old or drop me a message or comment on Facebook or Instagram. I'm still catching up with messages on there. People keep sending them to me and I, the list just keeps getting longer. And I can't get control of it. But yeah, have a great week, guys. Be nice to everyone. I know we're all a bit stressed at the moment. What's going to happen? But, you know, have a laugh. Have some good food. And crack on. We'll be all right. Don't worry. Take it easy. Bye.